hello welcome back in this lesson we're going to download our ide for this course we're going to use the atom ide i'm gonna search atom over here so this is it i'm gonna click this first link to open and then it's detected my operating system that is why it is saying i should download for windows if you're running a mac it would tell you to download for mac so I'll click i'll just click over here so this is it the download is complete i'll double click here to install installing the installation is complete and this is what it looks like it's a very nice um, IDE um, so if you've not installed Python please go to the section on setting up Python and make sure you've installed Python right so this is Atom this is going to be the um, the IDE we use we need to install this together with our Python and other packages so to run python over here we have to install a package in this atom ide so to install any package you come to file and then you click on um, you click on settings over here I'm going to zoom this in so once this opens you click on install this tab over here and then you search a package called script so I'm gonna type script like this once we've typed script we click on packages so we have this one here called script this is the one we're looking for run code in Atom so to install we just click install over here to install it it is installing so the installation is complete if we want to read more about the package we can just click on it and it would open a readme file that would explain its usage and it its shortcuts I'll close this from here right so there's the package um, so you can take a look at it but we just need to know how to run our Python script with this and then um, it gives a list of shortcuts etc over here it gives the shortcut for running it says if you want to run the script you press shift Control and b if you're on windows or linux on mac you, sp you press command i cmd i like this and then there is run uh, run by line number you can run by line number as well so that's the command we're going to be using most of the time to run our script okay so let's see whether our setup is good by creating a simple python script and running it I'll come over here, I'll create a new file, create a new file. I'll save the file by coming over here and then simply selecting save or pressing Ctrl and S to save. I'll just keep it where it is now. I'll say hello.py okay so this is our file this is its location we're going to change the location later and i'm gonna do print hello so what happens is atom is giving me the folder in which the um the file is contained over here this is the folder that has my file so we have all other files in that folder so you can do print hello
to zoom in on windows you can hold down the control key and then move your scroll your scroll wheel of the mouse if you move the scroll down it's going to zoom in and then if you move it to the opposite direction it's going to zoom out okay so i'm going to simply say print over here hello from from um from atom something like this so to run this we can either run using the shortcut or using you know the long method first we have to save it whenever you see this blue dot in the file it means it's not saved i'm gonna press ctrl and s to save and as i press ctrl s it's disappeared to run i can either come to packages and then script over here and then run script so i'll click this over here like this and as you can see it runs successfully this is our print message hello from atom right so our setup is working as we expected to i'm going to change the message i'll say hello from atom again and this time i'm going to try to run using the shortcut okay so the shortcut before we run we always have to save so you press ctrl and s to save the shortcut says shift ctrl and b so I'll press all three keys hold down shift ctrl and b b for b for boy i should say shift ctrl b and if you forget that shortcut you can always come to packages script over here and then the run script says ctrl shift b okay and that's working as well hello from atom again so this is all for this lesson we've seen how to set up our atom ide and i'll see you in the next lesson